On the 20th of December 2016, Gaijin released Update 1.65, Way of the Samurai. Among the vehicle additions, economy and research, bug fixes, and other stuff typical of a War Thunder major update, there is one thing, or rather many things you could say, included in the changelog. New scaled cockpits models for all aircraft which previously did not have one have been added. War Thunder, right up to this update, had gone without cockpits for larger aircraft. When switching from an external view to the cockpit view, the player would skip right to the virtual cockpit view. With update 1.65, all aircraft that had no cockpit models had received one. Pretty much everyone was happy with this change, especially simulator players, for obvious reasons. This new addition to the game increased the immersion while flying larger aircraft that had previously had no cockpit. Many players were satisfied with this for a long time. As the years went by, the cockpit models Gaijin introduced begun to appear less and less appealing. Players' standards for the game had increased as the technology of the modern era had become more impressive. In a game where nearly every new aircraft added had its own detailed cockpit with functioning instruments and flight controls, going into something like a B-17 or a Sunderland and seeing a bunch of bland, textureless shapes that sort of vaguely resemble a cockpit is pretty jarring. The vast difference in quality of cockpit placeholders versus actual cockpits is a very strange sight to see, considering how long the temporary solution was put in place. In 2020, it has been nearly four years since placeholders have been introduced, and we have seen little to no development updates on the topic. A fair point to keep in mind though is that these types of cockpits are far more complicated and take a lot more effort to implement and model than a smaller aircraft, such as a fighter. For a fighter, a fully fleshed out cockpit takes about two months to complete. Bomber cockpits have lots more components involved, and as a result have more dials, levers, and moving objects than a typical fighter. Another reason, which is the main and most probable rationale for the lack of bomber cockpits as of now, is that Gaijin have stated their priorities for bomber cockpits are not very high. In response to a reply to one of their tweets, the War Thunder Twitter account stated that, It is not in our priority to improve bomber cockpit visuals right now. This is a clear indication on how progress of bomber cockpits is going. The fact that we haven't seen progress in 4 years makes it very apparent that we probably won't be seeing updated bomber cockpit visuals anytime soon. It might even be a couple years until we see any development news on this issue. <laughs> 